the people of Arkan, also known as Rohingya, there's about three million people who live in a stateless state uh, where their citizenship has been revoked and the Burmese government is not necessarily treating them that well. And to discuss this uh, and more with me, I have in the studio uh, Nurul Islam, who's the president of the Arkan Rohingya National Organization. Assalamualaikum. Alaikum assalam. And welcome. And uh, we also have Dr. Michael Chani, who's a senior lecturer in the history of Southeast Asia in SOAS. Hi. Good evening, Michael. Hi. And also on the phone, joining us from Rome, the director of uh, Human Rights Watch in London, Tom Porteous. Good evening, Good Tom. Evening. Good evening. Okay, thank you for joining us. Uh, Peter Kessler is uh, also the spokesperson for United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, will be joining us shortly. Uh, we have got a couple of clips to play, which we will play uh, very shortly. Um, but the discussion, if I can start, perhaps with you, uh, Dr. Uh, Chani. Yeah. What is the historical situation of the Rohingya people? Well, the, uh, the Rohingya, uh, well, um, we should separate uh, uh, two different uh, uh, elements in Arakan. Uh, first of all, I should mention that Arakan is a, is a uh, uh, a uh, place that stretches across what the uh, modern nation states uh, are cut into. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it encompasses the whole uh, littoral all the way from uh, the uh, the Cape of Negrace up to uh, roughly Chittagong. Uh, historically, actually, the, the, there was an Arakanese kingdom, and uh, the power of that kingdom actually stretched into southeastern Bengal, the 12 right. Barabuyas, uh, who were feudatory uh, uh, connections to the, to the Arakanese court. Um, the population moved up and down uh, depending on uh, 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 opening up agricultural lands and so on. Uh, uh, um, the, uh, the, there was an Islamic presence in Arakan uh, probably as early as the 9th century. Uh, but in terms of the Rohingya themselves, who are, are uh, Islamic agricultural population uh, settled along the Kalan River, mm -hmm. um, their, their historical roots are demonstrable back to the early 17th century, but probably earlier, but the historical evidence is back to the 17th century. Mm -hmm. And the current, uh, 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 the Buddhist Rakhine, some of the Buddhist Rakhine nationalists, not all Buddhist Rakhine, but the Buddhist Rakhine nationalists, and the Burmese state try to associate the, uh, the Rohingya as being a relatively new population. Mm -hmm. They're associated with uh, 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 Chittagong, who migrated in after the British established rule over Burma. Okay. Uh, um, and therefore aren't one of the, the national races that preceded the British. Okay. Uh, I mean, if I can bring Tom in here. Um, Tom, I mean, what, one of the things the Burmese uh, government did was revoke the citizenship of these people by introducing a draconian uh, law, which kind of uh, almost stated that unless you are Burmese and Buddhist, uh, you, you cannot be a citizen. Yes, well, I mean, the Rohingya are, are among the most neglected and persecuted people in the whole region, and certainly in uh, in Burma. Um, the uh, the Rohingya are, are officially in Burma uh, are, 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 are an illegal community, an alien community, and they're not listed as uh, one of the some 130 recognized ethnic nationalities in Burma. Okay. Um, and so they're not even entitled to national identity cards. And uh, on the back of that, they're subject to the most appalling forms of, of abuse by uh, the Burmese authorities who are not known for their um, respect for human rights, even for those citizens who they do regard as, uh, uh, as legal citizens. Mm -hmm. So uh, the... the, the they, they really are in an, in an extremely vulnerable position, and that's why uh, you've got the situation you have today mm. where uh, thousands of uh, Rohingya uh, tr uh, are basically pushed out of Burma. Mm. Uh, they find it very difficult to get, uh, to get back, and then they, they are part of this uh, scattered diaspora who are seeking uh, work, uh, some sort of livelihood uh, in the region, and that's where the other countries of the region come in, and uh, they've been and they've been suffering from uh, uh, abuses, particularly in 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 the last few months. Uh, we've seen uh, with the uh, uh, with the uh, treatment of uh, Rohingya uh, migrants by the Thai authorities, mm, and that's yeah. what has led to uh, the Rohingya getting into the uh, to the international media mm. in recent months, and and that's why we decided to release this report now. Yeah, and we're going to cover your report a little bit more. If I can ask Anur Islam, you're, you're the president of uh, a tripartite group of uh, Rohingya organizations. Uh, you've, you've come together uh, because you've got a common cause, which is the 
you know, your people, uh, what's yeah. happening to them. Um, can you describe some of the things, you know, the, you know is there ethnic cleansing taking place? Well, what is happening? Yeah, actually, this is a, the problem that one here is a, uh, political, ethnic, and religious persecution. Okay. And the Burmese authorities, and they want to read our kind of the Muslim population. And by application of black laws and by use of force. From time to time, they launch drive operation against our people, resulting in the exodus of our people across the country into Bangladesh. Mm. From there, wherever they find a way they are going. And the human rights violation against our people are systematic, persistent, and widespread. Mm. It amounts to crimes against humanity. These are the crimes discussed by the United Nations. And among them, the worst is the rejection of denial of our citizenship. Mm. Although we have been in that country, although we are in our Khan, mm. For hundreds and thousands of years, yeah. we have a hundred thousand year establishment in the country, yet they are not tolerated because, simply because we are Muslim, this is the sheep region, and we are ethnically different from them. Okay. These violations include, I mean, uh, restrictions of our freedom of movement. Even we are not allowed to move from one village to another within the same locality without a pass. Wow. Similarly, we are not allowed, I mean, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to have our children access to education. The, and there's no education for. Uh, no, not sure. We are not, this is our children. We have got the, uh, the other restriction on the education of our children. Even the, particularly this is university and college study is almost impossible now today. Wow. As to the marriage, this is very serious. Mm. And for marriage, you need to, you need to I mean, make applications and uh, accompanied by recommendation from Belish level, I mean, authorities and the police and some agencies, including police, military. So you need a certificate and, to get married. And, and border security forces for marriage pass. For marriage permission, again with this, with all these, I mean, the uh, recommendation when you make an application, you have to pay for them, for the for to pass the application. Mm -hmm. Again, you have to pay, and again pay, mm -hmm. and wait for many years. Yeah. And it's not, I mean, the sometimes one has to wait for three years, four years, if uh, some uh, the intending couples are naturally exhausted sometimes. Mm. And they, without the official permission, they got married. When the authorities got the information, these people are jailed. When they got the issues, I mean the children, uh, to, to, uh, without the official perm marriage permission, they are jailed. Some of their instances that many of them, uh, I mean, they crossed, uh, fled to Bangladesh to mm. escape the arrest of the... Okay, so the, the, there is qu quite a lot of things here. Uh, Peter, thank you for joining us. Uh, Peter Hesler, you're, you're the spokesperson for the UN 